Human beings are astoundingly brilliant. We've cured diseases, we've conquered the skies, we even created little bits of paper with sticky strips on the back. And yet, for some reason, when we're thinking up future sports, all we're capable of doing is mashing together pre-existing games. In 1975, we had Rollerball. 98 brought us the creatively titled Future Sport. And there's my personal favourite, Blurns Ball. And now Ubisoft are rolling up to the plate to hit a six with their latest sport, Roller Champions. After the incredible success of Rocket League, I was expecting to see a host of studios trying to capture that same lightning with their own takes on Frankenstein future sports. To my surprise though, there have been few, and certainly none that have made waves in the gaming community, unless you consider chess a sport. Then along comes Ubisoft. At their E3 press conference this year, Yubi revealed the new title, and although it doesn't come out until next year, they took advantage of the week's excitement and teased a cheeky playable alpha. But when will you ever get to play this? How about today? That alpha is now over, and I'm kind of sad about that. So consider this video a means of catharsis for me to deal with losing what turned out to be an incredibly fun game. They're all on you. They're all on you. <laughs> and shoot Annie's goal. Oh, God. <laughs> Throw it. Throw it. Throw it, shoot it. Shoot it or something. Yeah, what a shot. <laughs> Roller Champions is basketball on roller skates in a velodrome. That's kind of all you need to know to understand what you're looking at. The core game mode pits two teams of three players against each other in a race to score five points. Scoring requires a team to carry the ball around the velodrome in a clean lap without losing the ball to the opposition by getting tackled or a wayward pass. Once they've completed one lap, they can shoot for the hoop and get a single point. Shoot and tackle. <laughs> or risk it all and go for another lap. A successful goal after two clean laps is worth three points. You're all clear, John. You're all clear. You're all clear, kid. Let's play this Three pointer. Hey! <laughs> And after three clean laps is five points, which is an instant win. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yeah. Uh, uh. The game is never more satisfying than when you're coordinating well with your team. Throw it, Gav! Passing deftly, making strong defensive plays. I got it. <laughs> nice. And ensuring the ball carrier has a good window of opportunity to shoot. Communication here is vital, and while there's a general quick chat wheel, this is a part of the game that really needs to be fleshed out for the final version. Despite the horror of communicating with strangers online, voice chat is kind of necessary. Let's do it. Don't, let's all just stay really oh, fuck. Much like Rocket League, the controls are simple, intuitive, and effective. But within that, there's so much room for high-skilled players to master the game's physics and literally speed away from the bulk of the player base. The skill gap here has the potential to be a skill canyon. Oh, so they're definitely going to need a solid ranking system when this launches. But these elite players are also going to make the game exciting to watch. <laughs> I am also holding out hope that the devs get super creative with some different modes and game types later on, similar to what we've seen from Rocket League, to keep the casual player base checking back in. While I'm guessing there is some hope from the developers that Roller Champions becomes a successful eSport, you can never really predict which games will take off. However, I do think the simplicity and clarity of Roller Champions' design and gameplay give it an excellent chance of doing at least as well as Rocket League. But a lot will hinge on maximising the player base. It'll be interesting to see what kind of business model Ubisoft go for, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's free at launch just to get all those people in. I mean, I'll pay a few extra bucks for a Ubi branded skin once I'm in, and at least that way I'll get to play as Sam Fisher on skates while Ubisoft continue to deprive us of Splinter Cell. With the short-lived alpha now over, there's a long time to wait until it comes out sometime in 2020. Oh shit, throw it! <laughs> And since the general reaction to the alpha has been overwhelmingly positive, I'm hopeful we'll see more early access and betas to tide an already hooked player base over. For now though, I'll just have to get my future roller sport fix watching Wesley Snipes bash people for threatening to turn him into the IRA while enjoying some of the finest screenwriting in cinematic history. What kind of fucking cheap shot was that? We're playing for territory now. Let me street rules, you stupid fuck.